Was Beethoven a black man? Ludwig van Beethoven is arguably the most famous and well-known classical musician and composer in all of history. But his true identity and ethnicity have been a falsehood and obscurity for many, many years. Nevertheless, Beethoven's story is very interesting and inspirational. At the young age of 21, he moved from Germany to Italy and began studying composition and quickly gained a reputation as a virtuoso pianist. However, during his late 20s, his hearing began to deteriorate and he eventually became almost completely deaf. But most interesting, this musical genius who people have thought for centuries was a white man was actually, in fact, black. Society has depicted him as a white male with either blonde or brunette colored hair, being shown in drawings, paintings, and illustrations all over the world. The speculations of his ethnicity are racist and unsourced. Some say he was black because he had coarse black hair, a broad nose, and a swarthy complexion, while others argue that his music sounds black. There is even absurd speculation he was black because he was friends with George Bridgetower. George Bridgetower was an Afro-European composer and violinist. The Beethoven Black Theory originally started in 1907 in the popular press and ascribed to Samuel Coleridge Taylor, a mixed race English conductor and composer. By 1944, Joel Augustus Rogers, a Jamaican historian, published his Sex and Race, unequivocally concluding Beethoven was Black. He supported his theories with accounts from the 18th and 19th centuries, stating that Beethoven had the complexion and features of a Black person. Some contemporaries describe the composer as more swarthy and dark. The term more is what piques specific conjecture and interest. But in reality, Beethoven was labeled by many as a mulatto or black Spaniard, but why? Well, according to Gabriel Scott, historian and author of The Chosen One's Perception of Malcolm and Martin, his father was a white German and his mother was a Moor. When used in the 18th century context, Moor referred to a dark-skinned person, an African or Muslim from the Iberian Peninsula. At the time, the term Moors was used to refer to a group of Muslim Northern Africans, or generally speaking, people who were of African descent. While the composer's family was Flemish, people have speculated about his genealogy. Some say his mother may have had an affair with a Spaniard who had African ancestry, and others think it possible that there was a history of racial mixing in his family. In society, with the black gene being the most dominant, he was referred to as a black man, often by his friends and people that he associated with. In fact, several people are documented as saying that he had brown skin, black frizzy woolly hair, a thick wide nose and a short neck. Some resources like Gabriel Scott, a respected lecturer and historian, claim that Beethoven was often forced and or pressured to wear white powder on his face to hide his ethnic origin when out in public. He allegedly also used body doubles for portraits and Eurocentric historians hiding the truth of his genetic heritage. Moreover, the term more does not justify that he was black. In the 19th century, more was used to refer to a white person with a slightly darker than average complexion. What do you think? Was Beethoven a black man? Do you agree with our findings? If not, do your own research, find your own evidence, add it in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell for new content.